Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marcy, if you are here for the first time, I thank you for clicking on that thumbnail, opening my video up so you can see what your girl is talking about today. If you are a returning subscriber, I thank you for coming back as well, showing your girl some love and support. Please follow me on Instagram. It's Marcemello, M-A-R-C-E-M-E-L-L-0-W. We have a lot of fun over there. Go check your girl out, check my page out. You know, I have a lot of reels. I do a lot of travel content. Just a lot of stunning and beautiful, amazing pictures. You know, I feel like I'm a self-proclaimed photographer, you know, and um, I just love beautiful things and capturing the beauty in all things. So go follow me on Instagram after this video. Before, please like, comment, subscribe, turn on those notification bells so that every time I do upload a video, then you can be the first one to give me your feedback, your comments, whatever you have to say, you know, that is positive. You know, I am willing to accept and moving forward. All right, so without further ado, y'all. Yeah. So I worked last night, right? And um, I just have energy this morning. You know, I was like, what am I gonna do with all this energy? Granted, I do have to go back to work tonight. Um, it was a pretty busy night for me. Um, I did, I was able to take a break though, you know, but you know, I just feel like I have this burst of energy this morning. And um, you know, I do take vitamins every day. I did get some sleep yesterday. Um, when I work nights, I usually sleep, which is not good. Um, but I'm planning on changing that probably in the near future. I've worked nights for about 18 years now. So I do plan on uh, switching over to day shift sometime soon. But I just, you know, I came home. My daughter actually, um, she picks me up and drops me off, you know, um, since she's been home from the pandemic, you know, from school. So I appreciate her doing all of that. You know, it's amazing to have to go down and, you know, just see a lovely smile in the car in the morning or to just, you know, mess with her, you know. But anyway, she picks me up and, you know, I just, I've, I have so much energy this morning. I really don't feel like I could go to sleep. So I said, you know what? Let's do a video. I was going to do this haul. This is like haul number three. Um, I'm going to do this haul video this morning. I was going to do it in a couple days, but you know, I don't know what to do with all this energy I have. So I'm just going to give it all to you guys and talk to you and hopefully you can enjoy it. And I sing you a bunch of, you know, positive vibes and positive energy, you know, as well. Just let it flow all through the camera, y'all. So anyway, I'm going to stop acting silly. Without further ado, do we're gonna get into this haul uh haul number three now haul number one video doesn't have a number on it uh but it'll say a haul uh freight i think it's uh designer and niche and then you have haul number two and this is number three so i have some wonderful scents that i want to share with you all today um some i love some i was a little like y'all I don't know why I listen to you guys. I'm a bit disappointed. And you know, um, some I'm just like me. So anyway, the very first one we're gonna get into, and I'm going to be doing a, I'm gonna do a review on my entire house of True Sardi. And Brooke, this is for you. So I finally got, um, you know, everybody knows that I love True Sardi. I have a review on it. So Brooke also um, got the EDT and she did a review on the EDT. So go check Brooke's pages out. I'll link it in the description box or I'll put it in the description box below. Um, thank you so much, Brooke, for um, putting your girl on game about True Sardi EDT. Um, I have the EDP. I have Donna Marina. I have, um, you know, a couple other ones. Um, I can't even think right now. You know, I, my brain is still available, but maybe it's a uh, it's uh, fading away just a little bit. So you know, we're, I I absolutely love this scent. Now the True Sardi, we're not gonna get into much of the notes because I'm gonna do it as a house. The True Sardi Donna, the original one that comes in the uh, white bottle with the gold lining, it's a stunning bottle. That one has yuzu, African orange flower, um, the vanilla. It's like a, a really creamy, fresh. Uh, fruity floral scent. It's stunning, y'all. I love it. You know I love True Sardi. Go watch my review and you're going to see how much. So True Sardi EDT, of course, I had to get it, right? So um, got it. Smells stunning, the same. It's delicious. This one, um, 
now I don't know all the notes, but I know it still has the orange blossom inside. It has yuzu inside. This one I think has um, another lemon scent. I can't remember which one it was, but this one also has melon inside. And you definitely get that citrusy with that kind of like a cantaloupe, not a watermelon, you know, because um, a watermelon to me smells red, tastes red, smells really like reddish, like a red berry fruity type of fruit and a fragrance. Um, but you do get that cantaloupe, that honeydew melon type of scent in this. Absolutely love it. It's very fresh, you know, very fragrant, you know, definitely an amazing, this is very unisex, but it does lean a little more feminine because of the um, sweetness and the fruity notes. But men, you can wear this as well. True Sardi EDT, I love it. You know, I love my True Sardis. This, it's the way that it sprays out, that's how I feel. Like a big old bath. Oh, Y'all, I, this is good, Brooke. I'm so glad you did a review on the EDT. Very citrusy, you know, really breezy, aromatic, fresh, you know. You get all those florals and, you know, the melons and the fruits. Y'all, I love this. Um, they didn't have very many. And I actually bought the tester. It didn't come with a top. But I found one of my tops from Dua. You know, this was only $30. Okay, you can't beat that. I just popped that on. It's not my original True Sardi top, which I'm a little bit anal about, but I absolutely love this stunning fragrance. True Sardi, y'all did it again. Get your hands on the EDT, y'all. Okay, it's amazing, okay? It doesn't have the creaminess as the original, but it's still amazing, all right? Next, I had to order um, True Sardi Delicate Rose. So this is an unboxing. I haven't smelled this before, so we're gonna get into this, y'all. And this, I think, um, was about $30 to $40 as well. True Sardi, the performance is amazing on these fragrances. And, you know, you can get them at a really, really good price, y'all. So um, this is uh, True Sardi Delicate Rose. Not that I needed another rose fragrance, but since it was True Sardi, you know, hey, why not? beautiful bottle beautiful juice you know it's like a rosy light peachy pink color let's spray this on the other one so yeah i don't know what to expect i'm expecting a little bit of yuzu with rose and a little bit of sweetness but let's see y'all and this is the edt as well i think this is the edt yeah, this is the uh, the True Sardi Delicate Rose EDT. I don't even know if they have a Rose EDP. Okay. Ooh, look at that. It's like a whole shower. Love this bottle. Smell it. Ooh, a little bit more alcohol. That was a pretty abrasive, you know. I, I like it. This is a very, this is like the lightest rose fragrance that I have. This almost reminds me of um, uh, Mason Francis Kirk John's, I think it's A La Rose. Actually, it smells better than A La Rose. Yeah, that fragrance, um, I paid $99 for like a 30 ml. It wasn't worth it, okay? It was just, it's basic to me. This for $30, you get a really fresh, like, oh, this is good, y'all. Yeah, the dry down is good. I like this. This is a really fresh, watery rose. It's not sweet at all. It's soft. This is addicting. Anyway, I, I love this True Sardi. Y'all, I am such a True Sardi girl. Now there's another True Sardi that is okay to me. And they said it smells like Zadig and Voltaire. And I can't even remember the name, but it comes in the, the maroon bottle. I'll I'll include it in my series. Now that True Sardi is an okay fragrance, but all my other True Sardis, Donna, Donna Maria, Donna Marina, um, Delicate Rose, and the EDT True Sardi, bomb, amazing, delicious, hands down, totally worth the money. Um, definitely safe blind buys. Y'all, this is good. Sheree, you always looking for a rose fragrance? You need to try this True Sardi Rose. So Sheree, get this fragrance. You can do a lot of layering with this, y'all. It's not musky. 
it's really fresh. But anyway, I'm gonna stop talking about it. Delicate Rose True Sardi is stunning as well, y'all. Get into it, okay? So next, I finally got, I'm gonna do a series on my Zerjop as well. So I finally decided to get Dama Bianca. You all know that I have Herba Pura, I have Grand Balo, I have uh, Amafi, what is it? Something Amafi, I can't even remember the name right now, in the yellow bottle. Um, I have uh, Uvature, I have uh, Accento, and I have a couple other ones, but I had to complete, um, and I've been thinking about it for a long time. So now I finally got my Dama Bianca. Y'all, this is an amazing, amazing fragrance. I love this. This is Kumquat, you know, yeah, it's Kumquat. It's creamy, you know. This is a stunning fragrance. I did wear this all day long. It did last 12 hours, stunning performance. You know, it's really, really fresh. This is a definitely a great summer scent. Fresh, sweet, feminine. You know, I absolutely love this fragrance. I'm glad I did get this one. And like I said, we're going to do an entire, you know, series on all of my Zerja fragrances. You know, sometime soon, within the next week or so. Zershoff. Um, at first, I was like, Tiziana Terenzi's my favorite house um perfume house but it's almost a toss-up between Zerjoff and the house of tiziana terenzi i absolutely love them both but i do love italica my two favorite fragrances i guess i would have to say Zerjoff because my two favorite fragrances right now is arba pura and italica stunning fragrances and actually dama bianca is amazing it's one of a kind it smells like no other that um you know, that um, kumquat in there gives it a really um, different scent, but it's a great fragrance, y'all. So, you know, that's Dama Bianca. The bottle's stunning. The box is stunning. So, let's get into one that I wasn't too impressed about, y'all. So, everybody's like, Victor and Roth this, Victor and Roth that. I love Flower Bomb. You know, I love some of the other scents. Victor and Roth Bon Bon. Bon Bon so sweet. It smells like honey. It smells like caramel. It smells like this, that, and the other. Y'all, I love Juicy Couture Viva La Juicies better than this Bon Bon. So anyway, I've worn Bon Bon all day long. I was not impressed with the opening at all, you know, um, and this costs about $120. So I expected, because of all the rave, I expected so much more from this. You know what this smells like? Um, and I took it back to the store because I really didn't think that it was worth the money and it wasn't worth the, the smell. Like it was just basic for me. You know, there was nothing special about this fragrance. This almost gives me um, Valentino. I think it's Born in Roma, Valentino Donna's Born in Roma. That's what this smells like to me. Actually, I kind of like Born in Roma is slightly sweeter than this, and it gives more of a, a more character than Bon Bon. Viva La Juicy gives more character and more, um, it's more defining than Bon Bon. This is very watered down to me, so. I love the bottle, though. The bottle is absolutely stunning. I thought I was going to get this rich, creamy, sweet. Even if it wasn't creamy, I thought I was going to get a rich orange blossom vanilla caramel note in here. No, didn't happen. It's cool. It's okay. You know, um, I will definitely wear it because I like it. I don't really like it. I just like it. I love the bottle though, you know? So I will be wearing this, but you know, I would probably pick up uh, Victor. I will probably pick up Flower Bomb before this, you know? So, but anyway, that's that. So not that impressed with Bon Bon, but I liked it because of the bottle. And then you guys hyped it up and um, it's an okay fragrance. So next we have, oh, can I tell you about this delicious candle that I bought? So when I was in um, Atlanta, I was walking through the mall and I was like, what is that smell? It smells absolutely delicious. Well, it is a, I guess it's Bath and Body Works, but then they have this, um, 
another line in another area of the Bath and Body Works. I forgot the name of the store, but they sell a lot of the candles. But this is the berry and waffle cone. When I tell you I smell this and it's not even lit and I smell it all over my house, it's the truth. This smells like a um, like a strawberry vanilla ice cream with a fresh cinnamon waffle cone. Amazing, amazing candle. I love it. It smells my house up even before I even light it. I mean, I've lit it before and it smelled like a huge entire room up, a kitchen and living room. So if you can, get your nose on this um, berry waffle cone. This is that Bath and Body Works. I think it's called Barn Something. Um, but anyway, um, this is an amazing candle. So next we have another unboxing and I do have Mancera Instant Crush. I love it. You know, I didn't like it at first, but once I wore it a couple times, I realized that it had amazing performance. You know, the sillage was stunning, like all of that. It was a great fragrance. It reminded me of, you know, not that I wanted that because I don't, because I have enough scents that remind me of uh, 540, but it did remind me of 540 in the opening. But when I tell you the performance was amazing, it was amazing. So we're going to get into holidays. Now, I heard that this had like a coconutty, citrusy type um, vacation beachy smell so you know let's get into this but the prominent note in here was coconut and I was trying to wait on this to list it in my coconut fragrances but it didn't come on time you know it took like almost two weeks to get here but you know here we are this is Mancera holidays so let's get into the bottle the bottles pretty it's not as pretty as instant crush because instant crush has that little gold hue I'm gonna go to bed, go to bed smelling good y'all we're well, actually gonna take a shower so um can we open up the top yes so anyway let's go ahead and spray this i'm gonna spray it here so hmm. okay this doesn't have the magnetic top so i'm assuming that this is the older bottle because the newer bottles come with the magnetic top this one has more of like the screw on top yeah, so this is the odor bottle, which I'm fine with because maybe the fragrance has fermented in the bottle and it's going to give me more of an amazing performance. Definitely coconut. I love it. Yeah. It kind of gives me a little bit of a coconutty chapstick smell. You know, I don't know if it has a little bit of iris in it, but I smell some orange or some like mandarin. I do smell some coconut, some uh, a lemon or lime. I like it, but the prominent fragrances and the prominent note in here is coconut. Yeah, but like I, I get a little bit of a lipsticky, chapsticky, coconutty smell. But yeah, I like it. You know, I'm not disappointed that I bought it. So Mancera Holidays. It's just a like. It's not a like I like like, but it's a like. It was totally worth the money. I got it on Fragrance Buy uh, for a really good deal. I think it was $80. Also, go check them out. They have Instant Crush as well for about $80. So I bought my sister bottle, um, you know, because I love Instant Crush. So I had to get her one as well. Um, yeah, but Holidays is good. Very coconut prominent, yeah. Oh, you know what? Ooh, I just took a big whiff. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to give you all that reaction. Guess what this smells like? This smells like Martin Mikalef Ylang in gold, y'all. Ylang in gold. Almost identical. Remember I was telling you I did a review. Ylang in gold has that coconutty scent. That irisy. I said that in the review. Kind of like uh, it smells like an iris in there. But I don't know if there's iris in it. That lipsticky, waxy smell a little bit. Y'all, this is your Langan Gold right here, Mancera Holidays. It's almost identical, y'all. Your Langan Gold gives me a little bit more of a banana e smell, but this is pretty much, it's super, super close to your Langan Gold. Y'all, I have a good nose. Trust me when I say something smells like something because it does. Every time at work, I'm walking around. I smell something. Somebody did this. Somebody did that. They're like, no, no, they didn't. So I go and check. I told y'all I smell something. I have a nose like a dog, y'all. I do. So anyway, let's let's move on. So yeah, 
if you don't want to, that purchase price of, you know, I think it's like two fifty to something for your Langan Gold, Mansara Holidays. Yep, there we go. You know, without all the shimmery stuff on your skin or to ruin your clothes. Next, I did spray this one on and I did get the uh, tester, um, which it didn't come in the pretty box, but I really didn't care. And I got this one for my uh, my beautiful little niece, but I thought it was cute. But I was like, man, I should have got me one too because this one smells good but I'm gonna send it to my niece, you know? I've been buying her Ariana Grande Cloud, Ari, Ariana, I brought her Thank You Next, you know, so I'm turning her into a little fragrance monster. She's only eight years old, y'all. So anyway, this is Moschino Toy 2. Such a cute bottle, right? I love very pretty, cute, unique, playful bottles. This is cute. I sprayed this. I did not know what to expect because I didn't check it. I just bought it for the bottle. I heard it was fresh. This smells really good, y'all. This is definitely, okay, this arm is free. Look at the automizer. Woo, a whole shower. This is good, very fresh, very sweet, very soft. Like a soft tropical fragrance. Like when I initially sprayed this, it was good in the opening, good in the dry down. The only bad part about this fragrance that it only lasts about, I think like four hours, you know, but I absolutely love it. It's great. It's an amazing fragrance, beautiful bottle, really stunning, soft, very aromatic, fresh, you know, still gives you those fruits inside smells like a pear or something, like a very, a clean fruit, you know, like, um, I forgot what's the name of, kind of like an apple pear scent, but it, this is a, I love this fragrance, y'all, so this is Moschino Toy 2, let's move on, I won't stay too long on a fragrance, so the next one we have, I never smelled before, another unboxing, this is Ellie Saab, um, La Parfum Essential, Essentials, Elisa La Parfum Essentials, yeah. So let's get into it. I see this on a lot of feeds, Instagram, all over. So I was like, you know what? I think it was about 30 bucks. I was like, let me go ahead and smell it. I do have Ellie Saab Girl of Now. I like it. It's a very nutty, creamy, orange blossom pistachio fragrance. So I like it. This is a really cute bottle. You know, I really like this bottle. It's gorgeous. So, hard to open. So let's let's spray this arm. <laughs> Automizer, great. All right, let's see what this smells like. I don't even know any of the notes in here. It's good though. I already smell it. Let me let that dry down some. It does say something on the back of the box about mandarin and gardenia. This almost reminds me of Linter D. The regular Linter D. I love, love, love the Linter D Intense. I love it. Fragrance for life for me. I love that. I have a backup bottle of Linter D Intense. You know, it gives it almost gives me Killian vibes, creamy with a sesame note inside. Delicious fragrance. Yeah, this is giving me. As a matter of fact, I ordered the, the regular Linter D and I've smelled this one once in Nordstrom's. This is giving me these vibes. A little bit more floral though, but it smells very similar. I'm wondering if this has orange blossom inside because Linter D has um, tuberose. I think this one has, uh, this one doesn't have a sesame note inside, but I think it has two rows, orange blossom. This one has some pear inside, but I like that Ellie Saab a lot. I do, it's very fresh, smells good. The floral note's really fresh and fragrant. So this, I'm sorry, I opened the back. So this is an unboxing too, y'all. Um, this is the original Linter D. You know, I loved it so much. I absolutely love Linter D, Givon Givenchy Intense. Um, I did go in and I sprayed the, re the regular version. I wanted to just go ahead and get this one too because it smells similar, except this one wasn't as creamy. But it gave me the same feel. So let's spray it up here. Let's compare. Y'all, creamy, orange blossom, stunning, stunning. I smell it already, and it's not even up to my nose. I love it. 
This one's giving me more of a bubble gummy orange blossom tuberose. It's probably the tuberose that's making it smell a little bit. Bottle, gorgeous, absolutely amazing. Definitely giving me some bubble gummy, um, bazooka bubble gum, not juicy fruit. Yeah, like the powdery. Oh, you know, what if with the big league? Have you guys ever had that big league bubble gum that came in like little shreds? It's giving me that bubble gummy big league uh, powdery, that powder on that bubble gum smell. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. It doesn't beat my, if I had to choose. Um, to get the intense or this one, I would definitely get the intense. It's delicious, but this is great as well. I really, really like this fragrance. The dry down is not as sweet. The projection was very sweet, and you could really smell that orange blossom and that tuberose that gave, I guess, the mixture. Yeah, but I really like this, y'all. This is a great fragrance. Love it, okay? Now, let's go ahead. Okay. So I'm getting more of the gardenia, the floral note in here. That orange blossom is, that orange sweet, um, creamy smell is drying down. And I'm getting more of a floral fragrance. This one is still creamy. I'm getting still more of, more of a bubble gummy smell. So it's a slightly different, but in the opening, it smelled the same. So it's a little different, same vibes, but a little different. This one is definitely sweeter. Linter D uh, Givenchy original is a little sweeter than Ellie Saab. But yeah, they're kind of giving me, you know, similar vibes. You know, that really, you know, aromatic, floral, um, sweet, creamy, you know, scent. I, I love them both. But yeah, it's more bubble gummy. Bubble gummy. <laughs> So next we have, and I smelled in the, in this in the store, and initially I really, um, I guess I really didn't give it a chance, but today I'm giving it a chance, y'all, okay? Um, I also wanted to purchase this, um, you know, my sister was talking about it, so I was like, you know what, hey, why don't I go ahead and smell it again, you know, I can review it, and then just let y'all know what it's like, you know, give you my take and my perspective on this uh, Versace Dylan Turquoise. I do not own the Versace. Actually, Veronica sent me um, a sample, so I'm going to compare those. The Dylan, the regular Versace Dylan, and then we'll go ahead and smell the, the Dylan Turquoise today. So let's go ahead. I don't even know if I have any more arms to spray anything else on. Pretty packaging. Basic though, basic box. I do smell my tuberose bubble gummy fragrance. The bottle's really cute, you know. I'll just go ahead and spray inside the cap, y'all, okay? But then I really won't get, I'll spray fingers. Can I spray fingers? Is that okay? I'm not really a fresh, aromatic, sea notes, you know. It's not that I have some of those fragrances and I have enough of them. I think I have about four or five and that's enough for me. I'm more of a sweet gourmand girl. Yeah, cause I don't like um, Dolce & Gabbana light glue, the intense or the original virgin. Virgin, virgin, the original virgin. <laughs> um, the I don't really care too much for it, so I gave that away. That's just not my thing. But this one's good. It smells really uh, citrusy, lemony, fresh, clean. It doesn't smell sweet. You know that sweetness mixed with the um, fruitiness of DNG light blue. It just smells sour to me, and I can't tolerate it. But this one, I don't get any sourness. You know, it's good. You know, it's really fresh, super fresh. I might have to order me. I'm giving this to my sister. You know, um, she wanted to smell this fragrance. Her friend talked about it. Her friend loves it. So I'm sending this to her. So she's going to love this. Christina, this is to my sister. You're going to absolutely love this fragrance. And I can't wait until you receive it. Because she's always looking for like clean, fresh fragrances. Y'all, help me out. Help a sister out. Leave down in the comments um, some of your cleanest, freshest, not really soapy like but she wants a really clean fragrance and i'm not really into that so i was trying to order her stuff that i thought was very clean and fresh and this is one of them and i think we mastered it so i really think you're gonna like this christina 
okay? Dr. Campbell, you're gonna love this fragrance, all right? Uh, big ups to my sister. She um, just um, got a promotion. She got tenure, you know, I guess if you're in the uh, educational um, area, you know what tenure is, you know, she's a, a professor. She's considered a professor now at the university that she teaches at. And um, she was granted tenure, which is a promotion. So y'all, congrats. Show my sister some love. Give her some congratulations. She's a hard worker. You know, she's been a hard worker all of her life. And that's Dr. Christina Campbell, Christina Alicia Campbell. Um, that's my little sister. Uh, but she's out there, you know, making things happen for the community of juvenile. Her specialty is in juvenile delinquency. And you know, she's just trying to make it happen for these kids and just promote positivity, you know, in the world. And you know, on top of being an amazing person herself, you know, and I'm getting her into fragrances, y'all. But yeah, Christina, you're gonna love this fragrance, okay? I did a good job. All right, next we have two more, y'all, and then I'm done, and then I'm going to bed, okay? So next we have Atelier, and this is a uh, Vanille Incense, Incense, Vanille, is that how you say it? It's not vanilla. I think it's Vanille Incense. So let's go ahead and smell this. I do have a lot of vanilla fragrances, so hopefully this doesn't smell like my other vanilla fragrances, but I did hear that this smelled like Spiritus Double Vanille, which I hope not, because, um, it's okay, Spiritus Duble Vanille doesn't give me the greatest performance, so, you know, I rarely pick it up. But anyway, this is Vanille and Sensi by Atelier Cologne. So, y'all, yeah, I'm gonna, um, can we use these fingers now? I think I have four fingers left. Let, let's use these two, and I'll use these other two for the next one. Mm, very good automizer. Now the bottles pretty it's very um oh i like the top i think the top's like leather or some type of material i like different i like this this is giving me it smells like vanilla but there's some something else going on in here yeah definitely yes not of heavy incense vibe very light it's giving me some creamy note though. I'm sorry. It's giving me some like a light citrusy on top of the vanilla and the incense. This is definitely a great scent, a great layering scent, but alone this smells good. Bedtime, daytime, spring, summer. You can layer this like I could layer this with my overture because my overture is like pow in your face strong. It gives it more of a little bit of vanilla instead of the cinnamon. Overture is super spicy, y'all. But I love it. But two sprays and I'm done. Yeah, I actually really like this. This is a Vanille Incense, Incense by Atelier Cologne. I got one more Atelier, y'all. Okay. And this is a Pacific Lime. And then we're done. And then hopefully, I, I'm still a little amped and a little hype, so I'm hoping my body gives a dry down like this perfume and uh, goes to sleep. <laughs> Pretty bottle, basic white box, you already know, you know, and this is uh, Atelier Cologne uh, Pacific Lime, y'all, yeah, so I don't know what to expect from this. Didn't look up any notes, beautiful top. I like, I love the packaging, you know? I love the bottles. So let's go ahead and spray these last two fingers. Oh, a lot, y'all. Sorry, I keep missing it. I smell it already. And that smells more like alcohol than anything. Just let it dry. Anyway, y'all. I really enjoyed sharing my morning with you all, you know, my night, everybody was safe, you know, an amazing night and dealt with some amazing nurses. I still have on my uniform, haven't changed my clothes yet, you know, the COVID numbers are still down, you know, I like it. 
smells like a grapefruit. Peachy, peary, soft. It smells like there's a little bit of floral notes in here though too. I like it, tropical. Yeah, this is a good fragrance. I was gonna say, I was a little afraid to buy this because I thought this would smell like my Guerlain's and they're a little more citrusy. I don't have any fruity Guerlain's, but the Mandarin Basilique, um, the Pam Pamplaloon, um, there's another Mandarin Basilica that I have, Coconut, you know, uh, Tizura, you know, all those. This doesn't smell like any of them. And this is pretty much, it seems like it'll have a good performance because it's holding on to this, I don't know, fruity, pineapple, sweet, um, tropical note. Yeah, I like it a lot. It doesn't state what's on here, I don't think. But I like it a lot. It was definitely worth the price. I think it's like, this is like 120 I think the regular price is either 140 or 150 or 170 or something. But Fragrance Buy, they have a lot of good deals, y'all. They have a lot of um, things that they don't normally carry. I really like this. I like both of them. Vanille, the Vanille Ensemble and then, or Ensemble, um, and then the Pacific Line. Very great fragrances. Very fruity florals, you know, fresh. Um, sweet and scentsy, great fragrances, y'all. Um, the only one I'm a bit disappointed in was the Bon Bon. Did not live up to my expectations. You know, I thought it was gonna give me all that everyone was talking about, and it did not, uh, unfortunately. But I'm still gonna wear it. I love the bottle, you know, and um, I'm very happy. I'm ecstatic about my True Society EDT and my True Society Rose, y'all. You know, absolutely love that. You know, love the Moschino Toy 2 that I'm going to be sending to my niece. You know, love the Versace Dylan Blue, you know, and of course, I love my Dama Bianca, you know, y'all know that. So you guys got some videos coming soon on house collections, uh, MFK, Dama Bianca, Zerjoff, you know, um, what else? Another one, Trusardi, you know, all that. This is still good. This is Ellie Saab. This is stunning. This is um, Givenchy Linter D, the original. Stunning fragrance. Um, I forgot what this one was, but. Oh, this was, um, where was holidays, y'all? Anyway, enough of that. So y'all already know, watch the review, you know, take some notes, you know, do your homework. I'm gonna come back and throw these, I'm pretty sure in a couple of collection reviews, like summer fragrances. And you know, um, I hope you all enjoyed my video. You know, I have an amazing day. I'm gonna go catch some Z's and a hot shower. I've enjoyed you all. Have a blessed day, a blessed morning. Go out, spread amazing sillage. Be loved, do good. You know, help somebody on the street. Stop if they need the help. Don't just pass by people you don't know what's going on or the type of day that they had. Give them an amazing smile. You know, give them a hug, pat on the back. You can still hug y'all just keep your mask on okay you know just uh show some love and appreciation to those that are around you y'all be blessed go out in the world and uh go out into the world and do good bye bye everybody thank you once again for being here